Welcome to another exciting episode of Hidden in the Universal Wall. I'm Brian, your host, and I thought we would go ahead and, yeah, I always say I thought we'd go ahead, but that's kind of the motto here. So anyways, the movie I kind of want to talk about is a film that was released, well, this is a movie uh, that stars um, Taylor Kish, Alexander Skarsgård, Rihanna, Rihanna Bookland Decker, and Liam Neeson, Release, released by Universal under its 100th anniversary centennial, Battleship. Yep, so Battleship is a 2012 film, as I said before. And this movie's complete garbage. L but yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. It's garbage. Also, we're kicking off, we're kicking off uh, April with a dud. So I kind of, this is kind of considered an April Fool's episode. But this is a movie I ha I watch. It was really hard to choose a movie between this and another movie and this. So, let's talk about this. Now, before I go into review, I kind of want to talk about why this movie happened. First off, this is based on a children's board game from the 30s. You know Battleship. If you're familiar with Battleship, you put the pegs, you guess the number like A3, miss. Uh, B7, hit. B5, hit. So stuff like that. That's the premise to the game Battleship. There's an SNL skit that featured Liam Neeson called Getting in the Cage. That will probably explain more about this. But two, this was actually essentially the cash-in on the success of Transformers. Uh, the Michael Bay Transformers. So that's Strike. So Strike 1, making this into a feature film. And Strike 2, Cash in and Transformers. Let's actually talk about Battleship. So, Battleship focused on, um, I want to see the characters' names. They don't have characters' names, but it focused on Taylor Kish. He, it starts out with him, he has long hair, obviously. So, it starts out with him, he's with his, he's with, uh, this, this, uh, he's with a, a person he's dating, played by Brooklyn Decker, whose father is a general, played by Liam Neeson. So, in the beginning of the film, we see that starts out saying in 2005, there's text at the beginning of the film. In 2005, this so-and-so, then we get to 2006, and he talk about this so-and-so. I'm not, I don't know what the so-and-so is, I'm just saying what it is. And, don't mind if they're talking in the background, I do apologize. They're watching something on Netflix. So... Then we get to 2012, where Taylor Kish's character is dating Brooklyn Decker's character. So, they're asking the bartender, can we get some burritos? Sorry, pal, it's, the kitchen's closed. So, the kitchen's closed. They say it's second time. So, he decides he wants to get a burrito at a convenience store. Turns out, the convenience store is closed. So, what does he do? He sneaks into the convenience store and steals a burrito while the police are chasing him. They're like, I got the burrito, I got the burrito. And all of a sudden, he gets tased. Four times. So, he takes a ginormous... He basically goes into bathtubs and bathtub and he takes this ginormous uh, ice bath to get rid of the pain. So, it's like, well, you disappoint me much. You're going to listen to Navy. So now we get to him in the Navy, then we cut him in the Navy, and they're trying to fight these aliens. Yeah, that's another thing. Aliens. Navy fight against these aliens and does these technologies. The only thing related to the board game is that the pegs. The bullets are actually pegs. So they shoot these pegs out to blow up ships. That's the sim that's the only similarity to Battleship. I don't know. I'll, and another fact is, this was directed by Peter Berg. I have covered a movie he directed and a, and a movie he acted in. I covered the movie he directed, Friday Night Lights. Still one of my favorite movies, 2004. And you show me that man, Peter Berg, is a great director. I don't know why he contacted Hasbro to make this movie, though Remy Malik also appears in the film. I forgot to mention in my Larry Crown review that I forgot to mention Le that Remy Malik appeared in that film, and he did appear in the film. He has a brief role in this. Also, weird enough, Peter McNichols 
appears in this movie in a small role. I'm like, Peter McNichols is in this? Wow, I didn't even know. I, I thought the guy, I thought he was like Rick Moranis. He just retired from acting. But nope, he appeared in the movie. Which I did not really even no, no, notice that. But yeah. So he's in that too. Uh, interesting fact. One of the cast members they got, I can't think of his name, but he was a real veteran. He was a colonel during four different wars. Gulf War, the war in Iraq, war in Afghanistan. And I thought at first that the, he, he lost his legs. It was CG. No. He actually literally lost his legs in real life. In 2007, they had to amputate his legs. I'm not going to go for that story. Just look up the actor. I don't know his name. But anyways, yeah, I don't really have much to say. Like I said, this is another example of a great cast, good director, wasted in a movie like this. And that's my problem. Rianos appears in the film. I forgot to mention she's in I think I did. But she plays another soldier, though. So... Yeah, it's, it's it's a strange bird, but that's pretty much the plot of what this film is. Let's actually talk about a couple of positives. The soundtrack's good. It's weird how they got ACDC's Thunderstruck in the movie, other than this movie was probably bad and they want to have a really good soundtrack to beef up. And Thunderstruck's a great song, but just doesn't fit in this movie, in my opinion. Yeah. And let's talk more about this. Like I said, this movie is just one giant train wreck from start to finish. First off, the CG is extremely bad. There are moments that the CG just looks tacky. It almost looks like a PlayStation 1 game. Now, I do have Battleship on 3DS, and I had more fun playing that than I had more fun watching this. There's also a first-person shooter Battleship the PS3. I bet that game's more fun than this. But, yeah. This is just really, really bad. I mean, it's not that bad in a fun way or that it's not that popcorn film where you just leave your brain at the kitchen and just watch. No. This movie is frustratingly bad. Very boring. The acting isn't anything good. Liam Neeson, a, an actor I like a lot, he was just bad. Now, a lot of people think that his role in Phantom Menace is bad. But I think I enjoyed him in Phantom Menace more than I did in this. And I stand by Phantom Menace. Liam Neeson's done better movies. Heck, I can show you an example. I haven't reviewed these. What I've seen but didn't review on the channel. Schindler's List and Darkman. Those are true Liam Neeson films I can watch. He is good. In fact, he is great in Darkman. I haven't reviewed it yet, but I have seen it, and I can give you a little bit of a hint. He's good in that. Even something like Million Ways Nine in the West, the Seth MacFarlane film. He was funny in that. What happened with this? You got a good ensemble cast along with a good director like Peter Berg. I love Friday Night Lights, but here's the thing, Friday Night Lights is not Battleship. And yeah, wow. The, another thing I didn't like about this was, there's a post credit scene, the ending is complete garbage. So the ending made no sense, Alexander Skarsgård, this is not spoiling the whole movie, but I guess I probably will, he gets killed by one of the, by one of the pegs. They used the pegs. To blow up the ships. That's the only thing related to this movie. The problem is turning board games into films just doesn't work. It worked with Clue. It doesn't work with Battleship. And yeah. It's just a crime. Such a shame. The only other reason why Hasbro decided to make this movie. Is to essentially cash in on the success of Transformers. The Michael Bay series. This movie is just... One giant dumpster fire from start to finish. It's not fun. It's very boring. The acting isn't good. A talented cast wastes in the script like that. Such a shame because with Peter Berg, he's made some good ones. I said Friday Night Lights, Rundown. Even his acting Shocker was really good. I have very bad things. We'll get to that one soon. 
But yeah, like I said, it's just not good. It really, really is just one giant... Yeah, 2 hours and 12 minutes. I was so bored with this. I really wanted to shut it off. The post-credits, let's get to the post-credits before I get with my final verdict, before I really keep rambling and ranting with this. So the only positive I could say is the soundtrack. Some of the songs in the movie is really good. For some reason, they had to close it with Fortunate, Fortunate Song, which is an anti, I want to say anti-Vietnam War song. Give it a listen, it's really good. So it was an, yeah, it was an anti-war, anti-Vietnam War song. They decided to slap on there. Uh, Brooklyn Decker was gorgeous, I guess, but that's really about it. Yeah, that's all I really, yeah, if I had to keep rambling about how bad this, this turkey was, this train wreck, this golden turd, I'm just going to just end it here right now. So, yeah, that's the review of Battleship. I give Battleship, I, I'm going to give it 1 out of 5. That, it's a no-brainer. One out of five. This movie is just really bad. It, it's not even fun. It it's boring, slow pace. Just the I said again with the post credits. We yeah, they get to Scotland and they try to open up this crate and you can see an alien hand. Kind of reminds me. Well, I'm not gonna tell you what it does, but you see an alien hand. They run away. That ends it. Kind of pointless. They should have just not added in there. I guess it would open up for a sequel, but the movie bombed, so we didn't get a sequel. So, yeah, there's not much, but yeah, that's my review of Battleship. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you do like the content on the channel, you can always check a lot. I, I have a ton of content on the channel, tons of reviews of other Universal movies. I'm on Letterboxd, so you guys can check me out there if you guys want to. And, yeah, that's really all I have to say. So, yeah. And, as always, keep watching those Universal movies, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.